going to be talking about the Crazy Art Twist Up colored pencil. This one is a lot different than your regular standard pencil crayon. There is no sharpening needed as they say that is twist up. You've got your handle here and all you do is you just take it and you just twist. You just keep twisting until you get some crayon comes out. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And the cool thing about this is once you're done coloring if you want to store it you just can twist it back up. And I don't know if you'll be able to see inside the mechanism is a um Oh, it's white inside the mechanism so that you can see the white mechanism as it slowly goes down the pencil. The downsides to this is I think I paid like $15 for a set but they um, don't have like on your standard pencil crayon they would usually right about here they would have the name and the color, like say whether it was blue or red or if it was like an orange red or a fuchsia or something, you'd be able to differentiate between the colors because there are some colors that I have that look very similar. And the other downside is the fact that once you've used all this whole crayon, you there is no... Um, refills on these. I looked online to see if you could get refills for these pencil crayons and there is not so you would have to go and buy a whole new set if you liked them but I'm just going to quickly go through some of the colors like, like this black I think this one is black I heard it tell this one is black but you can see like the top part of the color is um it's see-through. It's kind of got that clear color to it, so it's hard to differentiate differentiate between some colors, like this one. Oh, sorry, it was already used, but see the difference in the in the lids is they're not that much of a difference. Like this one is the gray color, and this one is the black. And when you hold them side by side, but when you're looking in person, a little bit harder to tell which color is which and like we have like orange I think I think this is orange or is it or is it yellow it's hard to tell because it looks like that but it's so clear that like with these colors like here's an orange one I think or is it brown no I think this one is brown I think but as you can tell see when you're looking at it in the thing it looks brown but then when you look at the lid it kind of looks orange and then you've got this one which I believe is I don't know, looks like it could be orange but then when you see the color it doesn't look quite as orange and then we've got this one which I believe is actually orange you can see it when it comes out it actually looks orange that's why it's kind of Oh, we have another one. Here's the other one. The other one that kind of looks orange right here. Kind of looks orange. And this one comes out orange. I noticed that too. That with some of the colors when you're coloring that they don't look like much of a difference between each color. Then we have your set of greens. And this is a little bit harder to tell because we used to look at the end of the pencil to see what color it was, see the difference between the colors, but like, and then you've got your greens here. Greens, I don't know if you'll see. This is what the set of green looks like. So as you can tell, there isn't really, it doesn't really look like there's that much of a color difference. And then we have this one which I think I don't know is maybe red. And we have some pinks. We have a lot of a lot of pinks though, like different colors. 
and variations of pink, and then this one is purple, I believe. But, like, that's the thing that's hard to tell about, like, the end. You're not sure exactly what color until you actually swipe it. Like, this one, I think, is purple, but, like, the color from here to the color inside is a little di different. And we also have another purple one, different colored purple. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting because it because the top is so clear that it looks a little bit different. And we also have some yellows as well. But like see they're very when you look at the top they look very similar in color but when you twist them out like this I don't know if you're able to see but when you twist them out like they kind of look different. This one's lighter and this one's more of like an orangey yellow. So, can't always go by the tips of that. We also have a, this is another green one as well. And then we have, I think our final color that we have for this is a white pencil crayon. So it's just your basic white, white one. <coughs> And the thing that I do that I do notice, especially with like the greens and stuff like that, like the color, like what you see in the um, in the tips of the color here, you think it's one color, but then when you go and use it on your paper, it turns out another color. That's why I suggest doing test strips. I have just a blank, or a blank little notepad that I've kind of color swatched some colors on if you be able to see but like some of them like even in the green variation some will look like this color but then when you go to actually use them on say your coloring book or whatever that whatever it is that you're coloring they actually turn out a different color than than what you swatched so that's why I always recommend doing some test swatches to make sure you know you don't go and color something and then be like, oh, well, this isn't the color that I thought it was or or wanted. I will show you a sample of something I colored. This is just your little coloring tattoo book. This is one picture that I colored with the crayons. And then my other one that I colored is kind of more fuller color, but it's harder to see a little bit. So I did use some green on here and right about here and it's hard. And that's probably going to be hard to tell because of lighting, but if you look close, the colors are a little bit different. Like in person, this red kind of looks more um, pinky than it does red. I was looking for a nice deep bright red and it looked like looks like the colors like when you see the pencil crowns it looks like kind of full on red here and then when you do your swatches because I have some red swatches over here and then I have a few up here and it looks like the same like the color is is like the red but then as soon as you get into the page it is a little more different color for cross comparison, I will show you this one, which will be a little bit harder to see, in a tiny bit, but I it should be lighting. But this here was done with some regular pencil crowns. We have oh, here's the other one. Another one that was colored, you're able to see with just regular pencil crayons. So sometimes regular, you might get a little bit streaky. And I noticed too that with um, these crazy art pencils, you do not get that same kind of streaky color as that, but you get less colors, I suppose, you can say, because like with regular Corolla pencil crayons, you can find like a skin tone crayon with the crazy art ones, you cannot, they don't have as many bright of colors. I think I have some more colored in. Oh, yes. This is another one that is done with regular pencil crayons. And as you can see, probably, this looks very 
vibrant and bright red. And if you compare that to And if you compare this bright, vibrant red to, to this red, it looks more, this one looks more pinky, but like in this one, you can see the actual color on camera and in person that it is a bright red color. This so far is what I've colored in this book. I will say that I do like the fact that these are easy and they're twist up. You know, you don't have to like spend all your time sharpening the pencil. You need it a little bit more and just twist up and go and then when you're done you can twist it back so you don't break off. But you will, one thing I notice you will have to be careful is like when you're twisting to do like a very small amount because you don't want to do like be like this and do too much because then when you because there is no covering there so when you push sometimes you can break it which I have learned that it is possible for that for that to happen and you think oh well I have a little bit left I should twist it up more but then don't do too much because it will break so one of these colors I did have when I was coloring I twisted up just a little bit more and it did break off for the price I would say yeah it's kind of worth it but then it's kind of novelty at the at the same time so it's like because they do have regular um wax cur wax crayon crazy art twist ups as well and you can get regular wax crazy art wax crayons that are not twist up these are cool for the fact that you can twist them up and use them but I think that it would have been a lot better if they had like before they put it out on the market like like where you could buy refills for this because otherwise you're basically just wasting like fifteen dollars to twist up crayons you know when you could probably go to the dollar store and buy like a huge pack of crayons for like for like a couple bucks and then get yourself like pencil sharpener which doesn't even really cost that much so in the long run you could save 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 more by not buying these but if you find if you have like a hard time um like shaving like crayons and whatever you know and stuff and you want it to be easy easier on your hand and these are definitely the way to go. I have noticed though that when you are coloring with these ones I don't know if it's because these are made with plastic or the way you or however it is you hold them. I noticed that I do get a little bit less hand strain as compared to your reg regular crown but I would definitely say these are definitely worth worth trying trying out for the first time and stuff but in the long run I don't know if it would be that beneficial on your pocket. One more thing I quickly wanted to show you before I sign off is that when I was trying to put the crayons back into my little um, pencil crayon case there I don't know if you be hard to see but not my finger but a little tip of crayon broke off as well as this huge piece here broke out as well as this one. It's another thing I noticed on one of the crayons was that it was loose inside because in the if you're able to see but in the mechanism here in the white mechanism it looks like on the it's hard to tell in here but on the inside looks like there's like a little groove where the um where the actual pencil crayon itself sits in there so I don't know if it if it if it's because it comes if it's too loose and come comes out but I think 
And this one looks like there is no more crayon left in here, but let's just keep twisting and see what happens. Oh yeah, see once you once that white piece gets to the bottom, it's at the end and you can no longer twist it because you can see you twist it and it kind of has that give and it goes back. You can twist up again, but that's the only downside to these crowns is the fact that if they break out like they have like this, then you're pretty much out that pencil crayon.